Ladies and gentlemen, here we go! This is the main event of the evening. Three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, setting five foot six inches tall, weighing 145 pounds, with a professional record of three wins, only one loss. Fighting from with off the chain MMA from Hot Springs Solo Hatley Jr. Three and one. That record, that one loss is actually he went up to New Jersey to fight an extremely tough opponent, guy, BJ Young, for his first fight. In the red corner, standing five foot six inches tall, weighing in at 142 pounds, with a record of five wins, five losses, from with the limits MMA from Batesville. Jared Ostoff! A lot of love from the crowd for Ostoff. And here we go, guys. I've been thinking about this one. I've been waiting for this one. On my long runs, this is one of the fights that I've been going over in my head, how it's going to go. And both guys square up. A lot of intensity. Here we go, Nathan. This, this is a division with speed, power, explosion. We got experience, 10 pro fights already. We got Solo with four pro fights, but unbelievable amateur career. Oh. Jared coming in with that power leg kick. He did, another one, but he's leaving his head open. But right now, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right now we got a lot of action already going. Looks like Solo knew that game was coming. He's ready to catch those leg kicks. Like he's ready to eat those kicks and then counter with his two. Jared with a nasty hook, just missed. Solo got Jared to press against the cage right now. Let's see if Jared can reverse that, gets his back off the cage. Solo had a good counter cross off that exchange. He's got to get some head movement in there. See, he's, he's, see, he's coming back, straight head movement. This is where the head movement's got to come in. Jared is throwing some heat, he but is, he's so explosive. See there, no head movement. Good counters, good combinations from Solo. Jared right now trying to set that kick up. I like Jared's movement. It is good. He's light on his feet, but he just took a few right oh, there and finished knee. with the knee yeah, right there. That was a beautiful like, combo a from Solo. Finished with the knee, but Jared throwing heat over the top. Coming in on Solo. And was able to defend off that takedown. Way to get his hips back, too. No kidding. That was nice. No kidding. Man, I, I, I've never seen Solo take a couple hits like that. And they were solid ones they and were. from Jared. And again, I think he's going down. There's no head movement from Solo. There's no head movement. And we got a nut shot, a legit one this time. <laughs> have, have we had any feedback? Has anybody heard anything from that? I have group? not. You know, I know we could sit and joke about it, but it, I mean, it's a serious thing. But there was no accident, no foul. And I, if you didn't hear when we were talk, calling it the fight, you know, uh, it was a no, no foul, no contest. You know, I think he kind of did it himself with his, you know. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Very kinda, unfortunate that, yeah. that that happened to him and that that fight didn't get to keep on going because yeah, that was one for, for the fans, title. you know, for the heavyweight title. But I think we'll replay that He's clear, that one. he's clear, he's good. All right, here we go. Again, things happen. Nice showing of respect, and let's get it back. So what I'm, what I'm seeing is I'm, I'm, I'm there, there, that. That's what I was saying. He's got to roll though. He's got to slip those, and it was a beautiful counter and just, just stunned Jared just for a second. See now he's changing levels. This this is different. So it's like he woke up. See another one two, and it put Jared on a little defense. Now, now he's Jared's going, going for, the, for the takedown. There you go. <laughs> he he recognized those punch. Another one. This is where one point's got to be called off. One warning is one thing. Got to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, can't be getting coaching right now in these times. We can probably say, I know you didn't do it on purpose, but you know, one of these times, you, uh, I didn't do it on purpose three times. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So you're gonna have, you know, this is just one of those where you just. You're going to have to call, take a point, inadvertent or not. Looks like Jared's going to get up, be able to recover from it. He was no, good the first fun. time. This time it's not so much. Two in a matter of, you know, 30 seconds will add up. Yeah. He's looking at him. He's got that cross eye. That's a mom look right there, boy. You hit me in the beans twice now. Got a full five minutes to recover if he needs it. Yeah. I mean, think about what five minutes would do when you get clipped be able to regain yourself and reset yourself. I mean, I would, I'd take it all. 
until you know I got where I need to be. I'm still fresh on my feet because you get start getting flat footed because you start thinking injury, you start thinking pain. You know, take the time, homie. I give it all. Take it, Jared. I, I really impressed with the move. I mean, it's, it's like a different round. Uh, it was a different round. Solo slip. He rolled, countered. He came with a two. And that's, it's a different round now. That's what he's going to have to do, definitely. Not, you know, Jared's coming for, when he's coming forward, he's coming forward strong. So Solo can't, like you said, just back straight yeah. up. He's got to hit those lateral steps, that head movement. Right yeah. now, we just hope Jared gets, uh, gets recovered here to get this round back on. All right, I love that. So he's got his hands he's raised, game. working he's the game. crowd as usual. All right, here we go. All Let's right. keep it clean, hopefully. All right. But it's just those exchanges. They both try to throw a knee at the same time because you know, you're, 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 you're throwing with everything with power. Nice both leg kick from Solo. Coming with unbelievable power. And beautiful one, too, right there from Solo. Jared yeah, tried to faint on, a little, a little out of the it's line on different that. Jared from the first minute to the second minute. See the hand speed difference. He, yeah. See he's waiting on those one-twos and Solo's coming in and rolling. Looking more attentive right there. And Solo yeah, hit that yeah. angle, came over with the, the hook right there. Yeah, it's like. Another leg kick from Solo. Solo's starting to put those hands together pretty nice. But coming, there we go, uh, Jared again, coming forward hard. Solo hit the angle on that step back though. And he's putting the one-twos right back on him. Yep, he's got to keep that hand up. His right hand drops down to his shoulder. He's not covering his jaw. <laughs> Trying to. My, my grandma's blind. She saw that. Inside leg kick. Solo right now oh, is picking nice. a shot. Step in elbow right there. Oh. Solo's doing a good job picking his shots right now. Kind of changing up the speed and throwing those one-twos. Nice elbow again. Oh, over the top with Jared right there and got his attention for sure. That one got Solo's attention. Yeah. But he's, you know, Solo's coming right back out. This, this is something that I'm, I'm seeing in Solo that I haven't seen before. You know, I've seen him strike, but he's getting caught. He, he's getting caught more than, and than I've, and I've seen him, but it's not phasing him. He's still coming in. Nice elbow. It's like they're both saving all their energy, storing it, then exploding at the same time. Nice liver kick right there from Solo. You can't cross the beams. It's a Ghostbusters reference. Oh, oh head, head oh. kick from Solo, and it landed, but coming. Jared ate it. Looks like Jared ate it. That was a beautiful setup from Solo. It was. Solo's high. doing a good job right now setting this stuff up more. It was the first time he threw a, a leg kick other than, you know, chopping outside, a little slappy inside. Another nice. beautiful elbow from Solo right yeah. now. Thump. Nice check hook, deep kick right now. Solo's doing a real good job of mixing things up right now. It looks like it's confusing Jared. And it's slowed Jared down. It has. Like you said, it's a different from the first of the round to now. Yeah. I don't know how much the uh, uh, low shots. Did. Oh, Man. beautiful hook. And one. But Jared answered back. With what? That left hand of his because Solo's dropping his right every single time. And again. This is a heck of a fight. Both guys squaring up. Jared coming forward right now. Eating everything Solo has. Oh, and he goes for the takedown and gets it. Wow. Beautiful takedown right now. Slipped under, but Solo gets right back up. Yeah, he needed that takedown for this round. He did, and a knee right now from Jared. Oh, another kick for Joe Solo. Uh, man, uh, Jared ate that. Oh, what man. a first round. Beautiful first round from this, guys. It started out, uh, Jared was getting a little bit better of the advantage, but Solo started picking those shots. I want a microphone right now on Matt. I want a microphone right now on Dewan. What are they saying? What, are they, what did they notice, you know, to tell their guys to be able to make the adjustment? Because both guys had their moments in that round. Yeah. For sure. The first minute of that round was complete Jared and it was just a completely different solo and the solo finally got his legs in the second minute and then a couple of crowd shots you know but man solo started rolling solo started coming back with his two and Jared wasn't throwing as many combos when Jared comes with combos man he, and he's landing his right hand most definitely uh, uh, there, he, like I mean his left hook he's landing that left hook and that takedown man beautifully timed good man good luck calling this fight I, you know we're in a different capacity here 
Colin Feist talking about it, you know, but if you were there, unbiased, you know, no emotion with a piece of paper or, you know, they have tablets, you know, for the judging right now, you know, and all you're doing is just watching the strikes and the damage and, you know, it, it might be easier to know who to clearly won that round, but. I would, ha I would hate to call it right now. Show respect and here we go, round two, guys. Like I said, both guys had uh, had their moments in the first round. Yeah. Nice right there, nice hook from Solo. There's a movement we saw of Jared in the first round. See, there's movement, angles. Try to fly a knee. Eight a couple coming in, though. Nice kick right there from Jared, trying to keep the distance off of him. And a beautiful uh, step under takedown, oh, but he got reversed counter. immediately. First Kay. time we've seen Jared on his back. Doing a great job hitting that go with ghost, you know, being able to swim back in the guard. But Solo, this is a first. North-south right now for Solo. The second time I've been able to watch Solo grapple in his last fight here in Pyramid, I was really impressed with Solo's wrestling. With Greg. It was just a completely different He fighter. did. He showed a different uh, an evolution in his game that I'd never seen before either. Right now he's content with that north-south. Well, he's just looking to control. Jared is doing a great job moving his hips, trying to roll so he can shrimp in at least half guard or guard. There, and coming up. And he got back to his feet. Good combinations from Solo. Looks like that head kick was blocked, but right there, he I love how he's throwing that jab hook. Nice, sweep the leg, Daniel Son. <laughs> Changing levels, that's what it's gotta be. These guys have gotta be on a different level when you're thinking pros, and these guys have four pro fights, 10 pro fights. You know, you can see the movement, the angles that Jared has. And right, and, 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 and you know those takedowns that he's landed on Solo has got Solo thinking too. Yes, sir. Because every time he comes in and Solo winds his hand up, that's when nice Jared leg drops kick levels. right now from Jared. And this is right now shaping up to be exactly what I thought it was going to be, an amazing fight. Now we got Solo going for the takedown. Mm -hmm. Good single leg defense, head up, foot on the outside. Yep, looks like Jared's going to be to get out. Got his, uh, he's got his back off the cage now. Usually I like to see in these separations who can throw the most damage off of it too because this is where you can get a lot of good, a lot of good exchanges. Yeah. Right now both these guys are... Locked up. The only exchanges we've seen before is crotch shots. You know, from this, right from this, now. these guys. They, they, they Jared right back in the center of the cage. Nice jab from Solo. Back Jared up a little bit. Nice hook from Jared. Oh, Solo with the quick hands. Jared smiles. He's dropping his right hand. I see that. Let's see if Jared can notice it. He's done a great job. Count. There he goes, right there. Yeah, his left both guys bloody, both guys beaten, both guys still coming though. Solo's got a roll. Nice leg kick, but Jared answered it right back with a cross. Two minutes left in the second round. Jared having a takedown and having a great exchange right now. I know Solo got up, but no, no, nobody's really damaged except you see the now the new blood shown on Solo, and it looks like we got another round in the books. He's gone back and forth. And he shoots for that takedown again, got the single leg. He is nice defense smart. from Jared right now, but uh, from Solo, I take it, but Jared still being tenacious. Good and hips. Oh, beautiful hips from Solo. And he was able to reverse Jared on the cage now. Jared's got the overhooks right now. Nice There's knee from Solo. Knee. Landed in the abdomen this time. And a nice, I love how he threw that leg kick off the break right there. But Jared just takes the center and goes right back at him. Woo! Oh. He threw that boom, one back. Boom, just, one, I two. love that one two from Solo. So crisp. And it's got, you know, it lands right where he wants it to, too. You know, this is, you know, and I say this sometimes in different commentaries, you know, I talk about boxing, you know, boxing, you look at Mayweather, they have unbelievable mitt drills, and they do 15 and 30 point combinations and all this stuff, but comes into a fight, and this is what you see. What we're seeing with Solo, he's got a one and a two. Just a he's basic. He's throwing a one, two, and he's not following up, and every time he doesn't follow up, he gets caught with a left hook. One. Two, oh. got caught with a left hook. This is where he's got to, this is where Solo saw in the first round or whenever he came with a high head kick. He's got to change up the tempo again. He's got to come in, go out. He's got to slip and roll. He's got to go overhand. It's an eye poke. Looks like it know. was. Rocky didn't see it. Jared just came in with two strong jabs. But Solo with a nice counter right there. 
Both exchanging jabs. This is They're both beautiful. A nice hook right there from Jared. Man. And he's got Solo backing up a little bit right now. Straight back. That's, that's what's happening before. He, he's missing that too. And he goes right in, drops levels, and he looks like he's going to get. Oh, time, beautiful too. hips from Solo. Wow. Beautiful takedown defense. Dime, round and two. And the end of the second round. What a fight that Solo Hadley Jr. and Jared Ostoff are putting on for the crowd right now. This is the main event for Pyramid Fights 9. We couldn't ask for something even more incredible than this. You see two guys taking it and dishing it out. You see two guys going for shots and defending shots. You, you, you think Jared's about to drop Solo with another left hook and he goes for a double leg. You see uh, Solo throwing another jab and come with a head kick and then taking a single leg off of Jared. I mean, it is back and forth. It's fantastic action right now. Both of them eating, you know, shots from the other guy that were tough, man. Both of them showing tenacity. Both of them showing heart. And I would hate to call this fight. I have no idea. 1-1. One, one. That's We'll go with 1-1 one, one just to keep it exciting, man. The only other be. way it could be is 2-0, to zero, and I just don't think Jared no. did enough in that first uh -uh. round. One to one sounds good to me. You know, but this is where, again, I go, what is Matt saying? What is Dewan saying? Solo, I'll tell Solo right now. Solo, you want to win this? You have got to make sure that you drop levels, you don't get taken down. That's number one. Put something behind your jab other than your cross and roll. Jared, you want to win this fight? You hit a one, two, three. Then you yeah. do it again and again, again then drop and again levels and, and again. pin them against the cage. Oh, beautiful show of respect right now. And here we go. They square up in the Love middle of the guys. cage, the third and final round. Nice jab from Jared. Right off the bat. I know I don't want any one of them to lose. I do not. Uh, I mean, I'm just a fan of these guys. They're just individually at their gyms, you know, they're – they're, they have unbelievable influence, positive influence in their academies that they train at. They have a wealth of knowledge that they possess. You know, and they're showing is, it right now. You know, they're showing that tutelage they have. Right now, basically a lot of the same we've had in the first two rounds. Just And Jared, a long shot. He's a little out of yeah. range on that. He's got to yeah. set it up better. Yeah, he's done better when he's thrown his one, two, not big two, three, you know. And then Solo brings it up, his hands up and then he takes that shot, but, you know, we're third round, we're 14, you know. Oh, right now, he's got to get off the cage. He's taking a lot of damage, but he smiles like the crazy man he is. And takes the center of the cage again and loves that left hook again. The Juggernaut, Jared. Jared the Ostoff. Juggernaut Ostoff. We just made up a nickname for it. It's very fitting. And he's just come forward this whole entire fight. He has, that's what he's known for, and he keeps landing that hook again. But if he would bait his two, he'd come with that left hook, and, and he would have another inch on Solo. He See, Solo bait. is timing his throws. Yeah, a little bit out of distance when he's throwing a lot of them. And he shoots for that leg, but beautiful takedown, beautiful hit, uh, takedown cut. defense from uh, Solo. Nice knee to the body. Ooh, exchange, yes. Both guys are doing a good job of punching off the break, too. I like that. Jared in with a good jab, but Solo answered both. Oh. Just out of range with that right. What a fight, Nathan, we have right now. Three minutes left, and it's going to be right now. Who's got it? Who wants it the most right now? Pyramid fights nine. Who's going to step up? Nice counter right there from Solo. Leg kick again. Jared's still looking for the home for that hook. What surprised me is when Solo would do something different, and that's what he has to do is surprise Jared. He's, he's put him on stumble legs twice. What Jared has is he knows we can do something with his left, but he's not setting it up before that. He's just coming with it and missing. You know, nice level. Yeah, it, most definitely. Yeah, he, Right now I feel like I'm surprised Jared hasn't tried to set up a takedown more, but he just seems to be content right now on the feet. And both guys are landing. Seems like Solo is a little more active, a little more landing more <laughs> yeah, yeah, in this yeah. third well, round. It's a little hard to get a takedown when somebody's punching you in yeah, your face. Yeah, it is. It doesn't make it easy. They shoots for it again, but Solo's able to easily yep. stuff that one. Yep, he's got his timing down, and that's the one thing that Jared had to do was use his hand, the jab, set up a shot. His combinations were the best for his shot. He would put a 1-1 one, one or a 1-2-3 or something like that. Beautiful punch off the break, just missed right now. We got less than two minutes right now. Jared's got the center of the cage. Let's see if he can do something right now to show the judges. Nice hook again from Jared. Both guys showing tremendous heart, tremendous cardio. Yeah, Neither one of them, bro. Oh, beautiful one, two, three right there from Solo. Really impressed with her endurance right now. Oh, most definitely. These guys are trained to go five rounds. 
Good one, Solo, two. one, Stomped two him. again. He's throwing those crisp punches like you were talking about. Nothing fancy, just one, two, basic, beautiful punches. And he's circling punches. now. You see how he's throwing his punches and he's circling out of the way. The crowd's going crazy right now. I love it. Jared's still coming forward with the beautiful cross. Solo answers. Right now we got about a minute left. Final round right here, Pyramid Fights 9. 60 seconds. Let's see who can do it. We're in the 14th, 15th minute. Beautiful here we go. check hook right there from Solo. Solo's been the busier fight in this round, landing yes, more, sir. landing a lot more shots than Jared has. Yes, sir. I think Jared needs to try to pick up the pace right now and finish this round strong. And it will a takedown with definitely, but he's easy. Uh, oh, nice hooks off the break from Jared. He has stuffed three takedowns off Jared this round. Jared's been able to not do any damage. He'd catch one or two power shots. So Jared, if you got on the power meter, maybe got two or three this, but it was just peppering of the ones and the twos. Under 30, from most definitely. Uh, solo, solo. I, I think he's eking this round out. I do too. You know, those things, you know, that, that's what I'm saying. He's going one, two, leg kick. One, 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 two, then circle, then move. Jared wants that lead hook so bad. He does, but Solo has just been busy this round, landing a lot of shots. And moving, too. Moving side. Jared's going for one last takedown. Stuffed again from Solo, though. Solo was able to make that adjustment in wrestling. Oh, man. What a fight. I want a fourth round. What please. a fight from those gentlemen right there. This is why we do this. This is why we want to see this, because we know these guys, Solo's got a future. They've. This is why we do this here. What a beautiful fight right there. From Solo Hatley Jr., Jared Ostoff. What a way to cap off this amazing card at Pyramid Fights 9. If it was 1-1 going in like Nathan thinks, I do think Solo February did enough 8th, in that round, but we'll February see what the 9th, judges think. Pyramid 10, Jonesboro, Arkansas. Mark your calendars, Pyramid 10, February 9th. What a fight. Those guys, they were ready to go 10 rounds if needed. Crazy cardio. Solo right now showing out for the camera as always. Smiles on these guys' faces. We love to see it. Both guys took damage. Both guys kept coming forward. That's everything you could ever hope for in a fight right there, guys. Two guys landing out on the line for you, giving it their all. Uh, left it up, so let's see what the judges have to say about it. No matter what, neither one of these gentlemen need to hang their heads. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the final fight, the main event. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. We have a split decision oh. for your winner. Out of the blue corner. Solo Hatley Jr. Split decision victory from Solo Hatley Jr. Four and one, great fight. Jared Ostoff does not need to hang his head. That was a beautiful fight. And guys, it's been a wonderful night here at Pyramid Fights 9. Uh, Jim McDonough, Nathan Kirby, from all of us at, at Pyramid, we just want to say, guys, keep supporting us. Keep tuning in. If you can't make it to the fights, they're always available um, at Fight TV app, guys. Uh, love to all.